Hello and thank you for tuning into a video. If you are new here, hello, welcome. If you are not new here, thank you so much for tuning into another video. Just to introduce myself, my name is Lenise. I am a registered nurse and I do cool little nursing videos. However, I am also trying to add budgeting to those videos because ever since I became a travel nurse, making this extra money, I have gotten into lifestyle creep where the amount of money I spend is just as much as the amount of money I make, but I am trying to prepare for a new um to i am trying to prepare to buy a house i want to become a homeowner soon i currently live in an apartment and i would also like to pay off my debt i have not done a debt confession video that one is to come but i am working on paying off debt and i'm really just trying to build good habits around money trying to stop with the splurging trying to just stop spending money, watching where my money is going, all that good stuff, just really trying to build good m money habits and become financially free. So I am starting these videos. So let's first things first, as I said, I am a nurse. So washing my hands and sanitizing them all day at work for hours at a time, my hands are just naturally dry, especially with it being in the winter time. So I'm going to lotion them down and we're gonna get to this good old cash stuff in y'all. So looking I have already written out my budget I decided not to do the budgeting videos just because I felt like I don't think that you guys would be interested in knowing exactly how I budget my money or where my money is going I think that you guys are just more so um, interested in cash stuffing and how I'm saving my money and trying to build um, well so that is what I'll be doing today I'll just stick with the cash stuffing and I'm also gonna do I'm gonna start my first hundred envelope challenge so I have my envelopes already made and I will be stuffing two envelopes this week to work towards my hundred envelope challenge so I'll just go ahead and let you guys know I don't know how this week is going to go because I um I only have like $30 in just regular spending money. Now, granted, I do put money aside for gas. I do put money aside for eating out. I do put money aside for groceries. And really, in a week's time, that's all I really need to be doing. But sometimes I like to go out and maybe buy a candle or I would like to start organizing my cabinetry um, so in my refrigerator. So like I would like to start spending a little bit more on my household because I want it to really be organized and clean. However, this week, I will not be putting much money towards household or like just splurging or spending but I guess that is the whole point learning how to be disciplined with your finances because I do not have much spending money left over after envelope stuffing paying my bills rent was due I went on to pay my rent and um you know doing and making sure I have money aside for this hundred hundred envelope challenge so anyways just to let you know I really this is where things are getting really tough for me really having to not splurge we're gonna see how good I am this week with not splurging so here this is just i'm also going to start like a keep the change kind of saving since i'm using so much cash i am realizing that i am filled up with change so i have this this we're just going to keep it old school and get us a little bottle i got this martinelli apple jar apple juice jar and i'm going to put all the change that i i can find that i had no that i had left over from um last week I'm going to put that in that jar. That's what we're going to do there. I dropped a penny and I don't want my dog to get to it. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So we're going to see how long it takes to fill this up. And once we get it filled up, then we will go and turn it in and count it and do all that good stuff with it. So honestly, you guys, I cannot remember how much money I pulled out the bank to stuff. Um, but I do know she gave it to me in all 20s and 10s, so I'm going to count it real quick. That's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, that's 5, 60, 70, 80, 90, 6, 10. So 610 dollars. This money here is money that I had left over from my gas and food last week. It's eleven dollars. So I'm actually just gonna put that into my gas envelope because I didn't spend very much on gas. So we're gonna do that. So out of this week's paycheck, um, 
I'm going to be stuffing $610 and that's probably around what I think I'm going to be stuffing for the most part. Another thing, so my cash envelope, this here is, it's large enough to put my money in and this is what I'm going to have at home for like my larger sinking funds and just to separate everything. But this is so large that it has to stay at home. I don't carry a very big purse. So this, this one's going to have to stay home. And I actually got this cute little one, you guys. It is so freaking cute. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like 13 bucks. It came with a pen. It came with multiple, I think it came with 12 cash envelopes. And this is gonna be small enough to put in my purse. That way I'm not just carrying cash around and not really remembering what it goes to. So I just went on and created the envelopes already off camera. So I have food, um, I have gas, hair, my daughter nails, dog, and I also need to create one for groceries. And there was one other one that I remembered I needed to create, but this is just actually, we don't have to stuff this. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna stuff this one. This is the one I'm gonna stuff on camera. And then whenever I leave out of the house, I'm gonna just put like a, maybe 20 or $30 in here to take with me out in public. That way I'm not carrying my whole envelope and I'm not just carrying loose cash um, in my wallet, not really having it, it and it not really being intentional as to where it's going. So this right here, I'm, I'm already in love with it. It's so cute and it came with a little pin and it also came with the budgeting sheets and I'm ready, I'm excited to use it. So anyways, we will get to the cash stuffing. So I am a digital budgeter and that's only because my notebook is absolutely full and I have to, I have to go digital. It's actually working a little bit better because I can see stuff, erase stuff and know exactly, exactly what it is. I'm gonna pull up this week's budget. Um, this week's paycheck was 3,800, a little over 3,800 because I did work a day or I had 10 hours of overtime on my check. Um, and again, I'm travel nursing, so that's the only reason why my check is so large um, and why I'm making so much money in a week. And it's not gonna last forever, and that's why we're trying to save it. So we'll go ahead and get straight to the stuffing. So in my envelope, I actually keep my sinking funds. Majority of those are actually just in one envelope here, uh, which is fine because I'll be able to divvy it up later on down the road. But anyways, we'll get straight to it. We'll kind of go through the budget. I will tell you guys what I did pay out of this paycheck. Um, I know I said I probably wouldn't be. I won't go through my whole budget and how I created it, but we'll just go through and kind of check off what we have already done. So I did pay my rent. Ooh. So I paid Simply Safe, my home security. I paid that already this month. Um, my rent, I just paid that. I had $20 moved over to my daughter's account. I have seven, I, I upped my savings, you guys. I told you guys prior to now, I was only saving $500 a week to put towards a down payment on the house. I went on and upped it to $750 just because I feel like I've been, I just, I can do it, you know? I probably should have just went on, took the extra $250 and paid off my credit cards. I only have two credit cards left. I think the total's like $900. So this month, both of those credit cards will be getting paid off. So um, I have 750 coming out for that. I already tied and this mud girl run, it's like I enjoy running and one of these, I'm a part of an African American running group and one of the girls that I met through that, she invited me to be on her team for like this mud run in May, but I had to go ahead and sign up and register so I did go ahead and pay that. Um, what I will be stuffing in my envelopes is gas, groceries, eating out and household items. And then I have my daughter's envelope and then I have a couple of trips this summer that I'm trying to save up to either pay for or make sure I have spending money for. Even though I do have about $10,000 saved in my home account, my account for a down payment to my home and that can, can be considered emergency funds, I want to create a cash emergency fund envelope to use in to not so I won't even have to worry about the money that I've already saved towards the house because you never know that might something else might happen I might lose my car anything I don't want to speak it but um anything can happen so I, I need another emergency fund it will make me feel a lot better and then I'm also gonna do my 100 envelope challenge and then I also paid a hundred dollars well I actually paid two hundred dollars on my apple card but I only paid two hundred because I was like, last night I realized I lost my AirPod 
And the easy thing to do was, you know, a, a new AirPod from Apple was $100. And the easy thing to do was I went on and just spent, put it on my Apple card. You know, um, my Apple card limit is $2,000. I'm not totally against credit cards, you guys, because I'm trying to build my credit for whenever I apply for a mortgage loan because my credit score when I went to apply for a mortgage loan was not where I wanted it to be to get a good loan. So I am utilizing credit cards for one because I need to build credit to build my credit up for a home for a homeowner loan. And then also because I get a lot of perks like I with my daughter being in Texas, I need to fly places like Texas pretty frequently throughout the year and I'm also looking to travel. So I will use my credit card for the flight miles and because you get 5% back on some purchases like at Amazon, I'll use my Amazon credit card because I get 5% back and that adds up over time. So I believe in using credit cards for the perks only if you're going to pay them off right away because I did get in about $4,000 of credit card debt and I did get a personal loan through my credit union to cut down the interest on that that I'm paying on. However, I did not cut my credit cards up and I am using them very responsibly. I So I'm not too worried about that, but I did go and buy an AirPod for $100 on my Apple car. And I'm like, no, that is not, that's what I'm not trying to do. So I went on and just paid it off right then and there um, to bring my balance back to where it was. And then I'm putting another $100 on my Apple card, bringing that, that debt down to like $400 on my Apple card. So that is why, that is where the money is going. So after that, I, I, y'all really have no spending money left over for the week, but it's fine. As long as I can eat out, as long as I can put gas in my car, and as long as I can like, I have money set to the side for household. Like household to me, since I already have my cleaning products and stuff, it even means just buying a candle from Target because I like for my house to smell good or um, refilling my um, incense or refilling my wallflowers because that is my household and my household for me to live and feel comfortable it has to be clean um and it has to kind of smell pretty decent so to me candles and stuff i count those tools my household budget so as long as i can like walk around target and maybe just pick up a candle and buy a candle i will be okay um i don't have to go and splurge and spend 200 dollars every week somewhere just buying shit or buying clothes and stuff that's what i'm trying to get away from so that is why we're budgeting but anyways now that all of that is done, we will go ahead and get straight to the cash stuffing. Um, let me get my pen out because I keep track of my deposits and withdrawals. And let's go ahead and get to it. So for gas, I had $11 left over from last week. Um, that was in my purse. And then I also have $20 left in here. Last week I put $90 in for gas. I only spent, I believe, $64 for gas. Or I spent a little over $60, $60 for gas. I filled up, I got, I went and spent 30 and then I went and spent 31. Anyways, doesn't matter. So I have, I'm gonna just only put 60 towards gas this week since I already have. You know what? I really don't need 60 more dollars. So that'd be like 80 and 90, that put me at $90. I don't need $90 a week in gas. I'm realizing that I'm not that bad on gas. I do drive a lot, but not that much. But I'm like, do I want a cushion? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We might have a little bit of money left over because I'm realizing, this is a part of budgeting, y'all, and again, I'm new to this, this is just my second week. I'm realizing that I don't really need as much money for gas as I thought I did. If I go, because I am a travel nurse, I, local, I do a local thing, so I drive an hour and a half away um, for work every day, but I am staying the night in, whenever I work days in a row, I do stay the night. So last week I worked on my days in a row and I didn't require any gas because I'm only staying 10, 10 minutes away from my job. Um, but this week I'm actually gonna have to drive down there on Monday and drive back Tuesday morning and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be able to stay the night. Um, however, I still had a good amount of gas in my car and, um, I just don't think I'm gonna need $90. So I'm gonna bring it down just $20 to $70. And I already had 20 left over from last week, so that's 20. And then I'm gonna put the $11 that I had in my wallet towards gas, so that's 25, 20, that's 31 basically, because it's $11, but we'll just kinda, you know, be sure. <laughs> that's 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31. So really, I only need to add 20, I'm, I'm gonna use, I'm, instead of 90, I'm gonna do 70. I have 31 here, so I, I just need 29 more dollars. Is that what I need, 29? Let's get the calculator out just to be on the safe side. Mm. 
My math terrible. So we're gonna stuff 39 more dollars in here. And actually we're just gonna do 40 cents. No, and we'll just take a dollar out. And then that'll give us our 70. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So we will fill out our sheet for that. And I printed these off on Etsy and they just allow me to keep track of my withdrawals and deposits. Today is the 25th. And I'm depositing $50. And that'll leave me with $70 in there. And again, you guys, I am new to all this. I'm not a pro. Um, but I feel like for being new, I'm doing pretty good and it's really working. So this is really, you know, so other people that are interested in trying it, we can all do it together. We can hold each other accountable. So, entertainment is not really entertainment, it's Lariah. I need to get some personal envelopes laminated or made, um, but right now, it's not in the budget. So, for Lariah, I said I am putting how much? And again, I send Lariah money every week for allowance. I send my grandmother money for Lariah. However, this is a, like an emergency fund for her because you never know what may happen. So, I just, I'm just putting a little bit of money to the side for her. Um, and I'm just gonna be at, I add ten dollars a week just for an emergency savings just for her So that is ten and that's gonna leave us. We had 18 in there. It's gonna leave us with twenty eight dollars. Let's count ten twenty one two three twenty eight Twenty eight dollars Full Araya we're gonna add our 10 for 10 to 2, 25. We're making a deposit. Excuse my handwriting. $28 for Lorraine. I had to put a sticky note so I can make sure I remember that it's not entertainment. No, you get no entertainment. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right. So that is Loraya. For my household, I'm going to put $50 in there. 20, 40. I need to make a sheet. I don't have a sheet for it. So that's $50 per household, but I'll do that off camera. I won't hold y'all up trying to cut another sheet out. Y'all can see that's what it's for, housing. So we got 50 in there. Let's mark off what we've done. We've already put gas to the side. We've put household to the side. This is for my dog. For my dog, I am, I'm not putting anything to the side for my dog today. We will hold off, because he still has $40 in there. He's good. Um, food is eating out. No, the food is groceries, excuse me. I put my eating out money with my personal money. So for groceries, we have $0 left. Um, we actually went over in groceries last week. Uh, last week I had planned on spending 75 in groceries and I ended up spending $127 on groceries. So I bumped up my budget to $100 and I'm actually gonna try to find some coupons and use my ads to see what I'm gonna cook for this coming up week. But for groceries, we're gonna bump it up to $100 this week. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We're just gonna skip that line because it's a mess. All right, so we got $100 for groceries. All right, so we can check groceries off of the envelope list. So my emergency funds, I'm just putting $50 a week towards emergency funds. 20, 40, 50. And right now we have $100 in there. So that's gonna put us at 150 for emergency funds. All 
right sometimes i just get a little anal and want to make sure that that's what's in there so we have 150 for emergency funds okay so miscellaneous is my what am i putting in miscellaneous so miscellaneous is what I'm putting in. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I probably should separate my miscellaneous. But miscellaneous is what I'm doing for it, what I'm putting my money in that I'm saving for my RV trip. Uh, my trip. I was going to Mexico in May. I actually don't think I'm going to take that trip. I think I want to be smart about my money and not. I want to pay off some more debt before I take a trip. And I'll probably try to take a trip closer to the end of the year. Because right now I'm really trying to get to California to get, a, I'm trying to get a travel nurse contract in California. Um, and hopefully that'll work out. And if I'm in California in May, I don't need to be taking any trips. I need to be here or I need to be available to work. So I'm probably not going to do it, but I'm still putting money to the side because it will still be when I do take a trip in the future this year, I'll still have that spending money. So my Mexico trip and then my family's taking an RV trip. Um, some money to spend during the summer on these trips. I'm saving for that too. Um, my daughter's birthday or holiday, my holiday fund and my, I have a traveling fund. All of that is going to go together. That should just probably be one big traveling fund. That's all it should be. But anyways, so that's how much am I spending? 90, 110, 20, 140, $140 will be going into my miscellaneous for my trips. Let me make sure. 90 plus 20 is 110, 20, 40. Yeah, 140. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, is what I'm putting together for. I might as well just say a travel fund. And I already have $320 in here. I put 140 last week, so that will put us at $460 for traveling funds. Um, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, hold on now. Let's see. 180 plus 140. Let me make sure that's 320. Yeah, 320. I did that already. Plus 140. Should be 460. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, I was right. I must have missed something. 460. The bad thing about these camera, ca um, camera, Canon cameras is that they only allow you to record for 30 minutes before they turn off and you have to restart. So if the video cut out, that is what it just did. It just stopped and restarted. Okay, and then personal is what I'm I put my eating out money in and if I were to get like need nail money or hair money for this week I would put that personal stuff in there So it looks like the only thing I have left is eating out because I put I put Lariah to the side I put Mexico RV trip summer spend holiday travel in my emergency funds so the only thing I have for personal this week is eating out and because I already put my household to the side, so that'd be a hundred dollars, 20, 40, 60, 81. And I hope to cut back on that, but that's what we have. And that was on E last week. We used every single personal dollar there was last week. So we got a hundred dollars in personal. Oh, 
All right, let's see how much we have left. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 121 is what we have left in the bank. And now this is where we're gonna do our 100 envelope challenge. Let me get myself ready for that. All right, so I have all my 100 envelopes in here. I'm just gonna look away, I'm trying to make sure they're mixed up good. All right, I'm just gonna look away and I'm gonna pick two. 35. And 71. Whew! The, how much is that? 35 plus 71 is $106. $106, all right, let's see. 71, 20, 40, 60, 71. Dang, I should've asked her for some ones. I wonder if I can exchange some. Let me see if there's somewhere with a five in it that I can exchange. Two tens. Entertainment, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, no, I can't take that. No ones. So we can exchange these two tens for this 20 right here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to find a way to get some fives. I'm trying to find to see if there is an envelope with some fives in it real quick. I think the best bet is going to be that I had one with some fives in it. Transportation. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten. There we go. So now I can put some money in my $35 envelope. Sorry, y'all had to exchange some bills real quick. Let me just make sure this is what I needed to be, 20, 40, 60, 70. So it's yeah, okay, good. All right, sorry you guys. I had to exchange those bills so I can put $35 in the envelope for my $35 envelope. So the point of this 100 envelope challenge is by the time you fill up all of your envelopes, you'll have $5,000 saved. This is something that I was, from what I was researching, you should do over a year. If you get extra money, you can definitely go to, you know, do it for you. Do, do it how, however often you can save. But they said to plan to do it for over a year and at the end of the year, you'll have $5,000 saved. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, you guys. Tickle on my throat. So, 20, 35, 35, <coughs> excuse me, 35, okay, so my 100 envelope challenge is complete for this week, and then I have an extra 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna keep as a cushion. Um, if something happens to my account and it goes in the negative or something, I'll have a little 15 dollar cushion. Um, and I'll, I'll put this in my little personal, personal one. I'll make an envelope for cushioning. <coughs> so sorry you guys. Well, now that all of that is over and done with, I hope that you guys enjoyed my cash stuffing for this week. Um, I hope that you guys are interested. It got you guys interested in wanting to do the cash stuffing and wanting to save money. And I hope that this got you wanting to just be financially free. That's the whole point in these videos. So I am going to go ahead and head out you guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys uh, later. Peace.